Good morning, everyone. I'm Diana. I'm the marketing manager at Norset. Um, thank you very much for joining us this morning in our product webinar. Um, today's webinar's topic is an introduction to Norset's products and Norset's product selection process. Um, so we'll learn all about our extensive satellite product offerings, as well as the factors to consider during the product selection journey. I'm delighted to introduce our presenter today, John Hagerman, customer service engineer here at Norset. Um, John has five years of experience working with satellite terminals from installation and commissioning terminals and assembling and repairing them to component level. He's responsible for providing support, training both customers and new employees, and providing consultation to any new project development. Um, John also has a diploma in electrical and computer engineering. So we'll have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar, but please feel free to submit your questions during the presentation and we'll try to address them throughout the webinar. And please use the question box in your control panel to submit them. Just a few housekeeping items. Our next webinar is on August 12th and the topic will be on customizing the Atom Buck. So please check our webinar calendar on our website to see the web, uh, roster of webinars that we have coming up and we'll be doing um, a webinar on a monthly basis. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter to get monthly update on our latest events and product launch um, launches. We also welcome your feedback on our webinars as we're always looking to improve them and cover topics that would interest you. So um, please complete the short survey that will be sent out to you after the webinar. Now, without further ado, I will pass things on to John. All right, thank you, Diana. Uh, greetings and thank you for joining us today in our Norset product webinar, where we will cover all different products that Norset has to offer and there are many variations. My name is John Hagerman, and I'm part of the customer service team, as Diana mentioned, and I look forward to providing you this session. As we know, uh, Earth stations, such as teleports or remote terminals, require satellite communication equipment to establish a link. These collections of equipment, whether you need a signal received product for your downlink earth station or a signal transmission product for your uplink earth station is where our product line will come into picture. For today's webinar, these are the different types of Norset products we will cover today. An overview of all received products such as LMBs and LMAs, then we'll follow along with our transmission products. After that, we will go over any satellite communication accessories we can provide. Last but not the least, we will go over all portfolio for satellite terminals. Once we finish the webinar, we will open the panel up for a question and answer session. Of course, if you have any questions in mind during the presentation, feel free to stop me and ask away. Before we begin, we just want to engage our audience with a quick poll question on whether you are familiar with our Norset products. All right, it seems that most of you are actually familiar with the products, and there's a few of you who aren't. And for those who aren't, we hope you learned something new today. All right, let's begin with our first product, Norset's Low Noise Block Down Converter, which is short for LMB. It is the most, is the most common product in the market for satellite communications, since most Earth stations are likely to have at least an LMB installed on their system. Now, Norset's LMB are synonymous with high performance, high quality, and unmatched durability. The range of LMBs includes a single or multi LO across C band, X band, KU band, KA, and Q band frequencies. Our LMB also have variations of references or just uh, 
if you need a PLL or just need a temporary use such as DRO for your LMB installations. Our LMB have been known to be installed on fixed VSATs all the way to airborne applications. Norset's LMB are highly customizable to your needs. Soon enough, you will notice a pattern of customization on all of Norset's products as well. Up next, we have Norset's Low Noise Amplifier, or short for LNAs. Our LNAs offer a premium performance and reliability in the smallest form factor possible. And across your C band, X, KU, and KA band frequencies. And of course, uh, these products can be customized to your needs as well. Up next, we have our block down converters or BDCs, which is a high performance signal conversion for satellite communication. It is a cost-effective tool to replace a, uh, many rack-mounted BDCs. It is compatible with all Norsets LNAs, and the BDCs are available across C, X, KU, and KA band frequencies. Once again, this product can be customized to your needs as well. Now, in present time, we know that the 5G network is quickly growing all over the world. With 5G's rapid growth, this will be an issue for any C-band users, such as, as in the 5G network is around 3.4 to 4 gigahertz. And the spectrum of a C-band receive is around 3.4 to 4.2 gigahertz. Now, to maximize the available spectrum, the guard bands between the 5G systems and the satellite receive require uh, bands will get smaller and smaller. Uh, new filters and LMBs are required to ensure immunity to these 5G systems. Now, interference solutions and is no, uh, interference solutions is now Norset's latest product offering, such as the 5G LMB. Uh, the five uh, this, the five G mitigate uh, interference mitigation is Norset's solution to compromise any interference suppression uh, that five G will bring. Uh, Norset's LMB, such as the thirty two hundred BPF, which is a C band LMB with a built in five G bandpass filter. Uh, and the 3200 SBPF, which has a switching capability between the full and narrow portions of the C-band spectrum. Also, we have a specialized bandpass filter, such as the BPFC and eBPFC for effective communication. Now, out of curiosity, are any of you currently using any 5G mitigation products in their systems? Oh, all right, well, hopefully this will be uh, products that you will be using in the future. Because um, let's say in cases where a uh, 5G signal is high and the guard band between the 5G network and the satellite receive spectrum is less than 100 meg, a combination of an external filter and an LMB integrated filter is required. Now the following graph you can see on the left on the screen, uh, on the right, I mean, sorry, uh, shows measured rejection of the Norset 3200 BPF LMB. Uh, it's the one, it's the LMB with the integrated 5G filter, the BPFC, 
uh, which is a 5G waveguide BPF, and the combination of various bandpass filters and the LMBs with integrated filter. In all cases, the pass band is 3.7 to 4.2 gig. The combination of NORSAT's 3200 BPF LMB and the NORSAT bandpass filter will result, uh, result will resolve most interference problems where the 5G signal is at least 100 meg from the pass band. In cases where guard bands are less, it is necessary to use NORSAT eBPFC filters. The following table uh, summarizes the immunity to 5G signals from various combinations of LMB and filter guard bands of 100 meg, 50 meg, 20 meg, below band edge are sorted from lowest to highest immunity. The values in the table indicate the highest level of interference that the LMB and filter combination can show without impacting the LMB performance. The table shown assumed a received signal of about minus 70 dBm. The immunity on the upper band edge is less, but this is not critical for interference mitigation. Also, the various combinations of LMB and filters have different insertion losses and noise figures. As such, will affect your system's performance differently. As you can see in the table shown on the bottom left, that provides you some guidance on the impact on the system and the G over T on various combinations. Now to sum it all up, uh, for you to ensure the satellite's received spectrum is immune to the 5G interference, it requires a combination of external waveguides and specially designed LMBs. Filters alone do not provide enough immunity, especially for interferers close to the satellite band. LMBs designed with integrated RF filters, high power mixers, and IF filters also do not provide enough immunity alone. The combinations available using the NORSAT BPFC, the eBPFC, and the 3200 BPF LMB allow tailored solutions to, that provide 5G immunity to the satellite spectrum while maximizing your system's performance. Now, let's move on towards Norset's Transmit product line. Uh, Norset's block up converters, uh, or short for BUCKS, and solid state amp power amplifiers, also short for SSBA, provide signal transmission for satellite communication around the world and offer very good performance and reliability in the smallest form factor possible. It's nor the Norset's range of BUCKS include uh, single and dual band options across C, KU, and KA band frequencies. Now we have three main variety of buck lines, such as Atom product line, the Element, and the Medium bucks, which you can see the different upper powers and variations we offer between C band, KU band, and KA band. Now let's first let's begin with the Norset Atom buck. An SSBA line. The Atom Buck have an industry leading size, weight, power, and military standard specs and can be integrated into a variety of systems with the most stringent specifications and extreme form factors. They are ideal applications such as airborne, radar, uh, TWTA replacements, SATCOMs in the move, communications under pause, uh, portable VSAT common data link, and many more applications that you may have. Of course, these products also have customization capabilities for your specifications. Our atom box range from 16 watt to 80 watt for KU band and a 25 watt or 50 watt for KA band. We would also like to highlight our newly designed GAN box, which is short for gallium nitride, which have even less power consumption, less heat dissipation than gas box, which means they can generate higher power output at even a smaller size. Our Atom products also have a monitoring software called Atom Control. Like you can also 
uh, used to check if there are any faults or it changed any mute functionalities that you may need. Uh, now, the NORSATS element and median box. Now they are available on a uh, ranges of C band, K band, KU band power outputs. These box are light and easy to install on any application and it's very simple to use. These box only require two things to be used. It just needs your input power and your 10 megahertz reference for the PLL requirement. Very simple, very easy. Up next, we have our Norsats microwave accessories. And they offer a very high premium and reliability in the smallest form factor as well. All standard microwave components provide high performance, such as our BiSDs, our OMT, which is short for orthomode transducer. If you require any linear orthogonic polarization filter for your VSAT, they also provide line amplifiers, which can handle current requirements for any LMBs with a rugged die cast aluminum chassis. We also provide universal LMB controllers for your NORSAT multiband LMBs. We provide isolators, line attenuators, and waveguide diplexers if you need. We've got any accessories that you may require for your VSAT terminal. Of course, we have our redundancy system for any critical or emergency situations in case something goes wrong with your earth station equipment. The NORSAT's redundant switches for either bucks and LMBs automatically detect signal faults and switch to alternate bucks and LMBs, providing maximum satellite service availability. Received side signal continuity is maintained via continuous power detection and upon detecting a fault, the signal is automatically switched to the hop by standby buck. Uh, remote web monitoring and control is also available for this product. The product is highly recommended for applications that are very remote, where it takes an effort to send out a tech or any critical live broadcasts. As common as other North products, our redundancy system has highly customization capabilities as well. Now, as we begin to go over the variety of North satellite terminals, uh, let's start with the military design terminals that NORSET has to offer. Uh, NORSET offers a wide breadth of flyaway terminal solutions, specifically for needs of a modern battlefield communications. Uh, it is available of array of reflector sizes, frequency bands, uh, for required operation and support networks. NORSET terminals delivers the quality durability and flexibility required for modern military communication solutions. There are four different terminal families of military products for maximum flexibility for the user's needs. All of these terminals are fast, easy, and require no tools for any assembly. These terminals are designed for the harshest military environmental standards. Now let's begin with our first member of the family of the military terminals, the Aberf popular Globe Tracker 2.0. Uh, NORSAT's Globe Tracker 2.0 is an intelligent military grade flyaway satellite terminal. Now it's built to military specifications with a suite of integrated modems or video encoders and lightweight packaging compact enough for airline check-in. Operators rely on the Globe Tracker for mission critical communications. Now, it is an auto acquired terminal that only needs to be set up once and one, it only takes one touch interface with this terminal. With one push of a button to search for a satellite and it's done. It's very easy. And also, if you need to go, it takes a one push to a button to park the terminal, pack up, move on onto the next mission. It has very easy to use tools within, within its built-in software that helps you with your troubleshooting steps. Components have modular architecture, which makes it field replaceable 
easy for maintenance. So uh, this terminal is built with a universal LMB, which provides you all the bandwidth selection for worldwide deployments. It is highly customizable to any application and requirements you might need. This terminal is offered with two different antenna sizes, a one meter or a 1.2 meter on both KU and KA and X band. Up next, we have our journey man pack. Now, the journey man pack is one of the uh, NORSA's latest series of ultra portable satellite terminals designed for military and commercial applications as well. The Journey Man Pack is the highest performance 1K solution in the industry. With the AIDA compliant packaging and tool free assembly, the Journey Man Pack offers a 0.9 aperture size. The terminal's case is only a single backpack, which is very light to travel with, and the user can easily take it in very remote places. This unit is currently designed for KU band applications. Another member of the military terminal family we have is the Rover. The Rover is an ultra lightweight flyaway satellite terminal with unsurpassed reliability and advanced assisted acquired technology and a flexible deployment platform. It is available on both one meter or 1.2 antenna sizes for KU, KA, and X band. The rover components can be tightly integrated for rapid deployment or separated into indoor and outdoor units for safe operation in dangerous terrain or situations. An option that comes with this terminal is very intuitive. The user interface that guides an inexperienced user through the silent acquisition process. With the AIDA compliant packaging and tool free assembly process, the rover is easy to transport and operate. With military grade durability, you can rely on wherever the mission takes you. Next, we have our largest member of our military terminals, the Sigma Link. The Sigma Link is ideally suited to provide broadband connectivity for baseband camps or other prolonged missions where assignments are temporary, but deployment is protracted with simple setup and both an either automatic acquisition or assisted acquisition. Personnel with minimum training can have NORSA Sigma Link up and running with transmitting in minutes. The terminal is very easy to assemble. No tools are required as always. The terminal is built tough and is packaged in very ruggedized cases. The terminal is compliant with military environmental standards, and the dishes comes in two different sizes. It's either a 1.8 meter or a 2.4 meter on either KU, C-band, or X-band. Next is the terminal floats between both military use and commercial use. I introduce to you the Norsat Marine Link. The Norset Marine Link series provides a reliable satellite communication at sea. The Marine Link is a three axis operating platform and 360 degree high speed tracking design that ensures reliable link even in the most rugged conditions. With its simple setup and pre programmed satellite almanac, the staff with a minimal training can have the Marine Link system up and transmitting in just a matter of minutes. The terminal is a built with an advanced anti perforation technology with a built in shock absorber to survive and maintain connectivity even in the roughest of seas. The terminal has a blockage zone design that, whenever the ship rotates and the signal is potentially covered by the mass of the ship, the terminal can automatically switch over to another marine link terminal on the same ship for seamless connectivity. The terminal comes in a variety of sizes, as small as 0.7 meter, all the way up to 1.5 meter diameter dish sizes that is covered between KU, KA, and X-band. Up next, we'll begin to showcase our commercial terminals, which we call it as the Wayfair family line. 
The Norset Wayfair commercial antennas are fast deploying, easy to use, and compact. They are ideal for commercial applications in various industries. A flyaway antenna offers excellent rugged and reliable satellite links. For a drive-away antenna that deploys easily for uh, and has a very reliable acquisition and tracking on an emergency vehicle, and a fixed antenna for a one-time deployment for permanent applications. Now, first we'll begin with our first uh, Norset Wayfair flyaway terminals. The Norset uh, Wayfair flyaway commercial terminal is for quick deployment. It is easy to assemble and a compact SATCOM VSAT. This antenna is excellent choice for commercial applications in various industries. The Wayfair Flyaway antenna offers excellent rugged and reliable satellite links for remote enterprise, energy emergency, and media applications. It comes in an either auto acquisition design or an assisted acquire design. The auto acquire design comes with three axis movements. It can also, and also has a single button interface for acquiring satellites or stowing away for the next deployment. The terminal comes in two case packaging solution. The auto, the auto acquire variation comes in either a 1.2 meter or 1.8 meter dish size for a KU band and a 1.2 meter dish for KA. The assisted acquired terminal comes in in a 0.9 meter, 1.2 meter, 1.8 meter dish size and is only currently offered for the KU band. Following up, we have our Norset Wayfair driveway. The Norset Wayfair driveway is Norset's solutions to reliable and easy deployment vehicular mobile communications. Solid, low weight, and low height reflector mounts and, easy, uh, and is deployed easily for fast, reliable satellite acquisition. Uh, whether mounted on an emergency vehicle, command center, or a mobile broadcast fan. Count on Norset's Wayfair driveway terminals for driveway broadband level communications capability. Now, this terminal comes with an intuitive software interface for the auto acquisition process. The terminal comes in either a 1.2 meter or 1.8 meter dish size that is only with KU band. Last but not the least, we have our Norset Wayfair Fix terminal. Norset's Wayfair fixed antennas delivers adaptable and dependable solutions for semi-permanent SATCOM installations in remote locations. It is designed to be fast, simple installation uh, in permanent solutions for any applications. The terminal is robust and has weatherproof durability that comes with a wide selection buck and LAB options. It comes in both either 1.2 meter or 1.8 meter dish size that is only offered in KU band. Finally, let's review some basic considerations that might help you selecting the right product for your needs. Now, when purchasing LMBs, keep in mind that the frequency band and range of system is important. Also, there are other parameters like gain, frequency stability, phase noise, noise figure, gain flatness, or VSWR specifications, connector types, and if the reference they need to make frequency conversion ex is ex external or internal, such as PLL or DROs for temporary use. Uh, when buying bucks, it is important to consider the frequency band and the range of the system it is going to be installed. It is uh, also the gain in the output power according to the calculations in the link budget. Uh, some applications will have additional requirements such as either power consumption or form factor. Temperature requirements, especially if it will be installed in either vehicles or they must comply with a specific certification. Um, as for satellite terminals, 
it is key to keep in mind the frequency band and the range that the terminal will be operating in. Different countries and regions use different frequency ranges. The type of application, whether if it's going to be fixed or mobile. The polarity type on whether it needs to be circular or linear types and any special requirements like output power for reflector size. Also, some operation were required to find satellites automatically with a motorized mechanics instead of operating manually with a point to antenna to the satellite. Another important thing to consider is the size of the terminal and how portable it is. Flyaways are small and portable and are suited for emergencies and short-term events. Fixed antennas are normally larger terminals with a provi and that provides better performance but require a permanent installation. All right, with that said, that concludes our webinar session. I hope this presentation has shown you the product that you may have seen before or has caught your, and hopefully has caught your interest. If so, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Uh, for now, we will now open this time for any questions. Thank you again for your time. Um, thank you, JJ, for such an enlightening presentation. Um, if you guys have any questions, as a reminder, please just submit them in the question box in your control panel. Um, I see a few questions coming in. The first question we have is, can the Norsat 5G LNB be a straight swap to my current C-band LNB? It can. Uh, it should be. It's it's still a C band five uh, C band LMB. It just has a built in bandpass filter for uh, the five D five G mitigation. Now, if you're worried about losing the lower spectrum of the uh, C band five LMB, and you don't have five G in your area yet, you can have the uh, the the SBPF, which has the switching capability to either the the full band or the narrow band. I hope that answers your question. Great. Okay, the next question is, can Norsat military terminals be used for commercial use? Yes, it definitely can. So the difference between our, uh, mil the main difference between our military terminals and our commercial terminals is that our military terminals have been certified for military standard products. They are interchangeable, but of course they cost a little bit more. How many people um, are required to assemble and operate a flyaway terminal? It just takes one person. It's very easy. It's very light. You know, of course, if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can have two, but one is good enough. Does the Norsad buck have MNC capabilities? The North Atom Bucks have MNC capabilities, and I believe the Medium Bucks have as well. Because our Atom Bucks have a software command on it as well, so that's where you, you need to connect your MNC to read any data information that your Atom Buck is providing. How do you mitigate terrestrial or airplane radar interference? Uh, that's a good question. I might, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, that's very specific. I will, I will get back to you on that question. Can Norsat terminals be deployed around the world? Yes, it can. I think the advantage of our, uh, Norsat terminals is what we have is a universal LMB which is a variety of bands that is covered uh, all over the world. So, and uh, wherever you get deployed, you can just automatically switch the band that the area is required. And it's very simple to use as well. Um, and for any of you who are interested, yes, a recording of this webinar will become available um, on demand. Um, on our website after, and we'll also be sending you a recording so you can forward it to any of your colleagues who might be interested. Okay. Well.
Maybe Jay, we, we still have some time left. I don't see any more questions coming in, but maybe JJ, you can talk more a little bit more about the um, our product selection process. Like, how, what are some of the you know key considerations in um, in picking the right products? I mean, you mentioned in your last slide some of the criteria, but um, for someone who's who might be new to the industry, what are what are some of the new like key factors that they need to really consider? Yeah, it's pretty much the the main key factors that we have is as shown in the slide. It's just uh, as a customer, uh, you also you need to know what, what you want as well, and we are there to provide their needs as well. Um, these are the minimum amount of information we might need for uh, any specific application. If you're looking for an LMB, uh, at least provide us uh, just the band and frequency range that you might need. Uh, within your area, uh, depends on around the world, or if you're going to be a, if you're going to do uh, multiple deployments all over the world, maybe you need a uh, a multi-band LMB, and you can also purchase a universal LMB controller to switch the different bands as well. Uh, if you're if you are if you need to purchase bucks, you just need to know uh, what also the output power you have, also the for like depending on your location, whether it's very remote, how far up north you are as well, which means you might need a higher powered buck as well. Um, also the nature of your application, if you need to do installations on very tight areas, you, uh, you need fanless installations as well. Uh, and for terminals, it's, uh, it depends on, uh, the application you might need as well. If if you're uh, if you need a permanent solution, or do you need to be you're you're traveling a lot, you need quick deployments. Uh, and either if you have an experienced user, if you have an experienced user, uh, an assisted acquired terminal would be good. Uh, or if you have a user that's not very ex experienced, where then you can get an uh, auto acquired terminal. That all you have to do is just set it up the one time, and then wherever you're deployed around the world, you just press one button and it works for you. Okay, the next question is Can Maritime VSAT support low KU and STD KU at the same time? At this, uh, it'll have to be two different marine terminals, I believe. So, right, it, it, uh, one marine terminal can support uh, one band at a time. I, I, I'm not sure if that answers your question. Do you have C-band LMB uh, redundant switches? Uh, we definitely can do that. That should be no problem. Um, why can't I use a regular 3000 LNB to mitigate 5G? Why do I need the 3200 um, SBPF? Or... Now, uh, as mentioned on the, um, the 5G mitigation slide, uh, the closer you are to a 5G network, uh, and if you didn't know that the upper end of the 5G network is about to be, or almost uh, overlapping with the low end of the C band spectrum. Now, there are still guard bands between the C band and the 5G network. Now, the closer or the stronger the 5G network is, the lesser that 5G guard, uh, the, the guard band is between the 5G and the C band. So the lower it is, the more interference it will cause on your C band LMB. And that way, that's where your uh, bandpass filters comes in, or a combination of both the bandpass filter and a LMB with a built-in pass filter as well. Hopefully that helps you. Great. Um... Okay, another question. What do I do if I need an LMB that requires very tight specifications that your products on your website cannot meet? Uh, we will have you. Have, you have to contact one of our sales guys. Whether in within it's plausible for our customization um, applications, 
there are some parameters that's not posted on the website, but it's still plausible to be done. It's a case by case basis on what your needs is as well. Okay. Well, if we don't have any more questions, um, I'm going to conclude this webinar, but I just want to remind everyone that um, this recording will be available on our website. Oh, actually, sorry, we have another question. Um, can Maritime VSAT support low KU and standard KU periodically without changing any components? Since they're the same waveguide, I'm not sure. Unless, unless, unless you have a built-in redundancy inside, I'm not too sure. Um, because you might need a switchable buck. It, I think it's plausible. We, we might have to look, uh, look further into that design-wise because you might need uh, to switch your, uh, your box band or your LMB bands as well. So I think it's plausible, uh, but we might have to look more into that one, I believe so. Yeah, if any of you have more questions, um, and that JJ cannot answer or um, we didn't cover at this webinar, just you can always reach out to us um, and we'll uh, forward it to him. And so we can get back to you after the webinar. Okay, another question is, what is a simultaneous LNB? Okay, a simultaneous LNB is uh, whether it has, it can have uh, one input and two outputs, like on two different bands. It's like splitting your signal in half in a sense. So it, it's doing it simultaneously as well. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, well, I don't see any more questions trickling in at this point. Um, also, just to let you guys know, we have a lot of resources on our website. Um, we have articles, product videos, um, assembly videos, and also all of our webinars are um, available on our website too. So highly recommend you to check out our website for additional resources. And if you don't find anything there that um, you're looking for, it's just email us. Um, and yeah, our yeah, our website is www.norset.com. Very straightforward. So, um, and please feel free to provide your feedback and please complete that survey, um, a short survey after the webinar, and let us know what you want us to cover in the future. So, um, with that, I'm going to conclude this webinar, and I just want to thank JJ for his time and all of you for joining us today. And um, yeah, we really appreciate your support. So thanks, everyone. Have a good rest of the week. Thank you.